on guys thanks for checking out this video of my sports gamatria <laughs> what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video of my sports gamatria in this video i'm gonna go over the ufc fights for saturday july 30th 2022 i'm gonna show you highlights of each side and it's gonna be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And of course, I wish you guys the best of luck on all your picks in this event. Let's go ahead and get into the fights. We're going to be looking at UFC 277, Pina versus Noons number two. It's going to be an American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. We're going to go through all five of the fights here for the main card. And uh, on this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, a date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. The way that I have it structured here is I have the event name up top. I write out the number of the event, 277, to get the uh, numbers for the words. And also 277 mathematically is the 59th prime number. This is taking place in American Airlines Center. This is the gimmick for that right there. City, state right here. I have the weight class of the fight right here. And then right here is one fighter, their name, Gimmatria, their birthday, to and from, uh, their fight record, any type of win or losing streak that they're on, as well as their UFC record. In the middle is the head-to-head -head last name, Gimmatria, as well as any type of... Uh, fight that these two have been in against each other and this is going to be the second fight usually um fighters don't really fight that much against each other unless it's advertised like this particular one uh so this is the second fight between these two you can even the score or pina can win both of them at the bottom is the other fighter named gamatia birthday to and from fight record any type of win or losing streak that they're on and their ufc record so let's just go ahead and get into these fights. I just went ahead and put these together and looked them over really quick. Just have something to talk about in this video. So we're going to start with the first fight here. Let me bring up on a bigger screen. Okay. So we're going to do the first fight here. It's going to be Magumd Enkelov. I know I, I mispronounced that. Uh, versus Anthony Smith. So Magumd Inkalov, I know I mispronounced it, forgive me, versus Anthony Smith. So starting off here, um, we're going to start off with the underdog here, Anthony Smith. If Anthony Smith was going to have a chance at winning this fight, these are going to be some numbers that would favor him to do so. So this is Anthony Smith's 53rd fight for his career. He can sit on 16 losses for his career with the win. 53 is the 16th prime number. Anthony Smith would become 12 and 5 for a UFC record with the win to go with. Today with 79 date numerology on the Gregorian. 79 since the 152. 152 is just an anagram of 125. But his opponent, Mag Magomed Enkelov, sums to 125 and 53. This is Anthony Smith's 53rd fight. He can sit on 16 losses with a win, 53 the 16th prime. He also sums that 125. Anthony Smith could become 12 and 5, like 125. He recently just had a birthday four or five days ago from this fight. So it could be a birthday present to him. Four days since his 34th birthday, he can get his fourth win in a row. And then Magom, Magom Inkolov. Forgive me for mispronouncing that. He sums to 125 and 53 like we just talked about, but he also sums to 82. 82. And he could become 8 and 2, like 82 for a UFC record with the loss. And so those would be the numbers for Anthony Smith to potentially win this fight. If Magum is going to win this fight, one thing that is interesting is that Inkolov versus Smith sums to 93. Magum can get his ninth win in a row as Anthony Smith ends his three-fight winning streak, 9-3-3-9, like 93. 
93. This fight is taking place in Dallas, Texas, which sums to 118. Magum could become 18 and 1 for a fight record in his career. 181. One, one one. Having a little uh, speech problem here. 181. <laughs> it's just an anagram of 118. So in Dallas, Texas, 118 can become 18 and 1. They're just anagrams of each other. And then, of course, this is UFC 277. 277 is the 59th prime number. If you write out 277, it sums to 307, which is today's date, the 30th of July, 307, a day with 59 date numerology on it. So both of those numbers are there, the 59 and the 307. UFC 277 sums to 307, 277, the 59th prime. Today is the 59th day of Magum, Magum's current age, and it's 307 days till his next birthday so you have the 307 and the 59 here for him anthony smith sums to 59 as well and if we take it even further with the mathematics 59 is the 17th prime number and it could be just as simple as that for anthony smith to get his 17th loss for his career and that would be that so let's go ahead and move on to the next fight here, Alexandre Patanjo, Patanjo, uh, I mispronounced it, forgive me, versus Alex Perez, Patanjo, Patanjo, Patanjo. Maybe I got it right, maybe I didn't, I don't know. But this fight in particular, when I was kind of looking over it, I didn't see a lot of numbers, and both of them share the same number for the win. So either Alexandra is going to get his 25th win, or Alex is going to get his 25th. When it is the two the second day of the fifth month for the Hebrew religious side of the calendar, like twenty-five. And so both of them can represent that twenty-five with their with a win in their career. So it kind of goes both ways on that one. Outside of that, I didn't see any other numbers that kind of really stuck out to me. The only thing I did see is in favor of Alexander, Alexandri. Um, I didn't see a whole lot for Alex. If Alex is gonna win, it's they both share that twenty-five. So any case you make for the number 25 goes both ways. And I didn't see anything else, really. The numbers that favor Alexander, though, is his name, his full name, sums to 62. Pentosia versus Perez sums to 62. And Alexander could become 9-3 and three for a UFC record with a win, like 93. Right out the number 93. It sums to 62. So that's something that he might have going for him. Also, something else is it's the 30th of July, 307. And this is UFC event 277, 277 sums to 307. Mathematically speaking, 307 is the 63rd prime number. And Alex Alex Perez can become six and three for a UFC record with a loss, like sixty-three, as Alexander becomes nine and three. And then either one of these can pick up the twenty-fifth, as I keep saying. Uh, but outside of that, I really don't have much to go over in this particular fight. Something I'm still going to have to look over. Uh, one last thing that would actually go against Alex Perez is that this is the hundred and thirty-second day of his current age. It being his 31st fight, he can get a second loss in a row. 3-1-2, 1-3-2. Two, two. They're just anagrams of each other. Something that could play in favor for him that I just haven't recognized yet is that his name, Alex Perez, sums to 131. It's 131 or a total span of 132 days since his birthday. Maybe there's something going on with this 131 that I'm not seeing as of right now. It is the 32nd prime number, um, but I don't... I don't see where it can be connected at. We got 72 really quick. 72. The reason why I was looking at 72 is he could become 7 and 2 for a UFC record with a win. But again, I'm just not seeing a lot here for either fighter. Both of them share that 25. The only real edge I see is for Alexandra with the 62, 62, and the 93. And then Alex Perez could become 6 and 3. 
Uh, but outside of that, that's about what I have. I'm going to have to continue to look at this fight, continue to think about it. Uh, leave any comments below if there's anything here that you see that I'm not seeing. Uh, I miss stuff all the time in my first read. Sometimes I have to go back two or three or four times, and I'll pick up new things. But this one isn't giving me a whole lot of vibes of wanting to make a pick on it. But I'm going to make a pick either way. But numbers-wise, I might have to dig a little bit deeper here when I write it out. But let's keep it moving. Sorry for not giving you a whole lot for that one. This next fight here, Lewis uh, versus pa Pavlovich. Pavlovich? Pavlovich? Maybe I pronounced that correctly. I don't know. This one's a little tricky. This one's a little tricky. Um, Derek Lewis, Lewis has some great numbers. Well, I shouldn't say he has numbers, but Pavlovich has some great numbers to lose for Derek Lewis to get the upset. But then he also has some numbers to win. So a lot of it's going to be come down to Pavlovich's numbers, not necessarily Derek Lewis's numbers. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. If Sergey Pavlovich is going to lose this fight, it will be because it's the 79th day of his current age on a day with 79 date numerology for the Gregorian. If you write out the number 79, it sums at 152. Sergey Pavl Pavlovich, Pavlovich will become 15-2 for a fight record in his career with a loss. It seems fairly straightforward, fairly easy. 79th day of his age, 79th date numerology on the Great Gorian, 79 seems to 152. He could become 15-2 for a fight record on the 79th day of his age. Seems very simple. 79, mathematically, is the 22nd prime number. He would get a second loss for his career as he gets a second UFC loss for his career. 22 2 2. Uh, that's what could put Derek Lewis in a great spot to win this fight. If Derek Lewis wins, he gets his 27th win for his career, which it can, can actually go along with it. 27 comes to 125, which is basically just an anagram of 152. And so that was that's what I would look towards. If I, were, if I would be looking at Derek Lewis, it would be the 79, this 152, and the 27. You know, Derek Lewis was born on February 7th, 2 slash 7. So maybe that's something that can help him out. I'll just go ahead and mark that in a, in a, a light blue. This is a reminder to myself. So 2 slash 7 is the day he was born. He can get his 27th win. 27 sums to 125, which is just an anagram of 152. Popovich can become 152 on the 79th day of his age. 79 date numerology for the Gregorian. 79 sums to 152. So that would be that. If uh, Serge Popovich is going to win this fight, it would be a future look ahead. A future look ahead. What do I mean by that? A future look ahead. Well, his name, Sergey Pavlov. I'm having so much trouble pronouncing his name. Sergey Pavlovich. Maybe it's the two V's. Two Pavlovich. Sergey Pavlovich. If you write it out, sums to 171. 171. Well, there might not be a particular number right now that can help him out, but Pavlovich could become 16 and one for a fight record in his career with a win in this fight, which could set him up to become 17-1 and one for his career in his next fight. So if Serge Pavlovich is going to win this fight, it could be based off of something in the future, 171. Maybe they want him to become 17-1 and one for his career, and the only way to do that is for him to win this particular fight first. Also, note that it being the 79th day of his age, today having 79 date numerology on the Gregorian. Yes, 79 sums to 152. And yes, he could become 15 and 2 for a fight record in his career with a loss. But 79 also sums to 53. 53 is the 16th prime number. Maybe that's the reason why he gets that 16th win for his career to set him up to potentially become 17 and 1 in the future. This is his 17th fight on a day with 59 date numerology. 59 is the 17th prime number. This is UFC 277. 277 is the 59th prime number. This could keep Derek Lewis on 17. At UFC wins for his career with a loss. And then, of course, this is taking place in Dallas, which sums to 41. 
Serge Pavlovich would become 4-1, like 41, for a UFC record with a win. And uh, so that's both sides for that fight for what I have right now. It's also 287 days till Sergi's next birthday. And 277 sums to 287. So maybe that helps or maybe it doesn't. But yeah, so it could be very straightforward with the 79 and the 152 against Pavlovich. Or it could be something future-based with the 171 setting him up to become 17 and 1. So let's look at the co-main event here. Hey, what's going on guys? This is a great opportunity to go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment below on who you think is going to win. It helps out with my algorithm or the algorithm for YouTube. It gets my videos out there a little bit more. So if you could, go ahead and smash the like button, leave a comment below, and let's go ahead and get back into the video. Check out some more numbers. Uh, we have Brandon Moreno versus Kai Cara France. So let's start with Kai Cara France. If he's going to win this fight, today is the second day of the fifth month on the Hebrew religious, like 25, a day leaving 235 left. Brandon Moreno, it's 235 days since his birthday. Kai Cara France could get his 25th win for his career. Marino versus Cara France sums to 82, and Kai Cara France would become 8 and 2 for a UFC record to go with. This is the second head to head fight between these two teams, or two teams, between these two fighters. That could be the reason why Brandon Marino gets his second loss in a row. Um, but Kai Cara France is looking to get revenge here. He needs this even the series out 1 and 1, like an 11. Well, if we want to do some math here, it's the 127th day of Kai Car France's 30-year-old age, 127. Because the 31st prime number, 31, is the 11th prime number. So mathematically, this 127 breaks down to 11 in prime numbers. It's the 127th day of his age. Could be the reason why he evens the score 1-1, one and one, like an 11 against Marino. Also, though, if you write out the number 11... Number 11 sums to 63, and today is the 30th of July, like 307. 307, the 63rd prime number. This is UFC event uh, 277, which sums to 307, the 63rd prime number. And so that could be the reason why they even then score 1-1, one one, like an 11. And Brandon Marino, he's born on, on December 7th. 12 slash 7, like 127, 127 day of Kai Kara, France's age, 127 breaks down to 30 or breaks down to 11 in prime numbers, which would also help the 1-1 one, one even score. Now, if Brandon Marino was going to win this fight, it would be based off of the event name mainly. Uh, what do I mean by that? Is, this is UFC 277, 277 sums to 107, 107. This is Marino versus Cara France, which sums to 107, 107, 107. And Brandon Marino is looking for his 20th win for his career. 20 sums to 107. So what can happen here is Brandon Marino can get his 20th win for his career. 20 sums to 107. This is Marino versus Cara France, which sums to 107. He can also become 2-0, and like 20, head-to-head -head against Cara France with a win. And this is the 277th event, so 277 sums to 107 as well. But this is taking place in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Dallas, Texas sums to 71, which is the 20th prime number. Could be a reason why Brandon Marino gets that 20th win. Becomes 2-0, and head-to-head -head against Kai, like 20. And then for uh, Cara France, he would get his 73rd, or he, he would become 7-3 and three for a UFC record with a loss, like 73. 73, if you write it out, sums to 59. Day with 59 date numerology on the Gregorian, this being UFC 277, which mathematically breaks down to 59 as a prime number. 
And so that would be both sides for this co-main event. Let's go on to the main event here. We have Juliana Pina versus Amanda Nunes. So let's start with Amanda Nunes here at the bottom. If Amanda Nunes is going to win this fight, uh, it could be based off of the number 79. Today has 79 date numerology on the Gregorian. 79 is the 22nd prime number. And also, if you write out 79, it sums to 152. Well, Amanda Nunes can get her 22nd win for her career as she becomes 15-2 and two for a UFC record with a win. Very simple. Juliana Pina would become 12-5 and five for a record in her career with a loss. 12-5 is just an anagram of 152. And then... Juliana Pina would also become 7-3 and three for a UFC record with a loss. And, we, and I was just talking about this. 73 sums to 59. Today has 59 date numerology on the Gregorian as well. This being UFC event 277. 277 is the 59th prime number. Could be a reason why Pina becomes 7-3 and three for a UFC record uh, with, a, uh, with a loss. And then, of course, Amanda Nunes, this is the second fight, head-to-head -head matchup between these two. Uh, Julia Pena can end her two-fight winning streak with the loss as Amanda Nunes get that 22nd win for her career, 79 date numerology, the 22nd prime. But then we can talk about the one-and-one -one here. Amanda Nunes lost the first fight, so this could be a revenge spot for her to even the score one-and-one -one like an 11. We talked about that same scenario down here for Kai Car of France, that 11. We know that the number 11 sums to 63, right? 307, the 63rd prime, 277 sums to 6, 307. Today being the 30th of July, like 307, the 63rd prime. And so those would be the numbers for Amanda Nunes. It could be very straightforward with the 22 and the 152. And then you have the 12.5 and the 73. However, for Julia Pina to win this fight, it's going to be very similar to Brandon Marino with the 20 and the 2-0. and If Julia Pina was going to upset Amanda Nunes second time for the second time, we know that 277 sums to 107. We know that the number 20 sums to 107. We know that Dallas, Texas sums to 71, the 20th prime number. Well, Juliana Pina sums to 71 as well, the 20th prime number, and it's 20 days till her next birthday. And she could become 2-0, and like 20, head-to-head -head against Amanda Nunes with a win. Okay, this, this fight is taking place in American Airlines Center, which sums to 216. Amanda Nunes would become 21-6, and six, like 216, for a fight record in her career with a loss. This is taking place in Dallas, which sums to 13 and 41. 41, the 13th prime number. That could be the reason why Juliana Pina gets her 13th win for her career. This being the second head-to-head -head matchup between these two uh, fighters. If you write out the number two, the number two sums to 13 as well. So there's definitely narrative here for both sides. Um, is it the more obvious one or is it a little bit more subtle? You'll have to just make your best guess on it. You know, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. I really appreciate the support. I hope you guys win all the money in the world. Hopefully this helps you get you started on a decode. Ask to decode that you already have. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below on who you think is going to win these fights. And uh, again, I really appreciate the support. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully these videos help. Get you started on a decode, helps add to a decode that you already have, gives you an idea of both sides to the fight so you can weigh your own options on what you like and what you don't like. And once again, I hope you win all the money in the world. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.